Hi, my name is Phil. Today we got the opportunity to be installing a warm-up uh, floor heating mat. We're going to actually be using DryTech um, self-leveling compound that's distributed by Laticrete. And we'll be using our edge strip kits to make sure that we encapsulate the wire and create a flat surface for our tile. Our first step is we're going to take a sponge and we're going to wipe down the substrate. Make sure there's no dust or any bond breaking materials left on it. Since we'll be using a self-leveling underlayment with this installation, we make sure that we use the primer. Um, what we'll do is we'll just pour it right out of the bucket and take a roller and make sure we get an even coat with no puddles. Okay, we allowed our primer to dry. Um, now we're going to start right here where the vanities are. Since we will have vanities and we're not going to put the floor heat underneath it, we can actually use our extra kits right in front of it. So it's as simple as peel and stick. And push it onto the prime surface. The edge strips cut simply with a standard utility knife. And there's absolutely no waste. This piece then will start right here. take the S-strips and we can actually go right over the heat duct because after the self leveler drying we'll be able to simply cut it out but this will save the self leveler from going into the floor heating register. Use of the extra kit up against the tub here provides what's called a soft joint. So any expansion because of the floor heating of the self leveler will be absorbed right here within the extra kit. The use of the edge strip right here at the door threshold will contain the self leveler from getting out into the carpeted area. Okay, now that our edge strips are all around the perimeter of the room, we actually take a resistance test on Ohm's reading. I got uh, 42. We're going to record that in our manual. We're going to do this three times. We're going to do it one right now as we just got it out of the box. The second one after we've spread it. And then the third one will be after the self leveler has been poured. Because then at that point, there's no way that there could be any damage to this mat at the tile stage. Okay, we're going to start with our cold lead. We'll fish it up to our thermostat location. We got some conduit in the wall. And then we'll roll out the mat. Okay, now we can just um, roll the mat out. We actually pre-cut it um, so that we're sure that we have good coverage. And uh, after we get it in place, we can just peel the tape off and stick it down to our substrate. This area here we have to what's called free wire. So even just a couple dabs of hot glue will be able to hold the wire down as we turn and go back the other way. Okay, after we have our mats set out, you can actually take a staple gun and you can staple some of the mesh down. Make sure you never hit this red heating element. Okay. Important, do not forget the thermostat sensor wire. We're actually going to use the tape to secure it. Make sure that it's in between one of the loops of the wire and not crossing any of the heating element. Okay, now we've got our mat all set up. We'll take a second resistance 
I got 41.2. Again, I'll put that in the manual, and then we'll take our third one after the self-leveler is completely encapsulated and dry. Alrighty, now uh, we've mixed up our um, dry tag 4000, exactly the way it says on the bag, and it's as easy as pouring it away from the edge strips and allowing it to flow right up to them. See how the edge strips contain the self leveler from going into the floor register. Okay, we're here on the second day. Our self leveler is dried hard and smooth. And look at the transition between our edge strips and the self leveler. Okay, now we can just take a standard utility knife and we can cut out our heat register. Just that easy. Okay, we're here on the second day. Our self leveler has dried enough where we can walk on it. We're going to take our third resistance test. Now that the wire is encapsulated, we've got 41 again, so we'll put that in the manual and we'll get started tiling. Okay, we key and thin set into the substrate, now we got Back butter the top. Okay, we're going to be using the tornado leveling system here. So we got these little straps that will go under our tile. And we have these little collars to bring it down so there's no lippage in these large porcelain tiles.
we're ready to hook up the thermostat, we're actually going to be using the brand new 3IE thermostat by Warhol. All I can say is sweet. Thermostat is also featured in the June issue of the Tile Letter Magazine, so you can check in with that or on the website for more information. I want to say thanks to the, our warm-up company uh, for supplying our floor heat and our thermostat. We want to thank um, the Midwest Trade Tool for letting us use the tornado leveling system on this job. Okay, our job's complete here. If you have any questions whatsoever about the Edge Strip Kits, make sure that you contact me personally, phil at edstripkits.com. I'd love to answer any of your questions or field any of your comments. Thanks a lot for watching.